Ended up going out for lunch with a couple of my coworkers. We went to <laughs> an Asian buffet. Hey yo, is this going to the YouTube? Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Check out my channel. Uh, link in description. Um, like and subscribe. The food is blossom. My mouth hurts. Not from the food though. In addition to uh, the food that we got, I brought this out to the game shop. Intending to get it resurfaced, pop it in the PS2, and be ready and able to play. No. Popped it in the PS2, and it still won't load. It's still doing the same discrete error that it was doing before, which is disappointing. So what I ended up doing was ordering a new copy of it. I was trying to avoid having to do that, but... Sometimes you kind of just have to. It is what it is. The good news, though, is that I was able to pick something else up. This is a novelty thing. This is the web browser for the Nintendo DS. Specifically with the DS Lite, this version is. But, what it is is exactly what, the, what it says. It's the internet at your fingertips. So, if I can get it open. It's got a memory expansion pack for a DS Lite and the cartridge, which is a, an internet browser based in Opera, like the Wii's browser. And it's a, it's a complete unbox. I would have liked to also have the expansion, memory expansion for the regular, but not complaining. Not complaining one bit. I don't think that's a very comfortable pillow. But if you believe otherwise, power to you. So normally about now, I'd be sitting on my computer doing stuff, right? But I have plans today. They are surprise plans, which I'm not all too fond of. I like having like stuff like planned out like, hey, I'm gonna be doing this at this point kind of thing. Even if I'm not like going over every little detail and I know plans sometimes change, just, uh, Spur of the moment, hey, things going on now. I'm not always fond of, but a friend of mine who uh, lives down in Virginia had a work thing not too far from here. So he hit me up and he was like, hey, you busy? No? Cool, we're doing something. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. So he's about 20 minutes away now. So I'm getting ready to go out and you can see I got the good old Plays Classic shirt on. <laughs> Something I haven't worn in a bit, but I'm excited to to be seeing him because I don't think we've met in person yet <laughs> in the nearly 10 years I've known him. So let's, uh, let's go meet him. So he's here and I'm gonna be honest. Your face shape is about exactly what I expected. <laughs> okay. You've seen me before, Vinny. Have I? Didn't you watch the, uh... No. Oh, okay, then no. But, he exists. Hey. I uh, showed up. And if, I, I bring gifts for Vinny. If you've seen other stuff that I put out, you would probably know him as Spooky. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try to refer to him as. No worries. Hey, Jay. How are you doing? Great. What's your name? Uh, Nick. That's right. Yeah. And he has a gift for me. And I'm a little scared to see what that is. This is not the original gift. The original gift is in a box somewhere. <laughs> in a box. But here is your not in a box gift. I will take that. Can you take the camera? Yeah. Alright. What, pray tell, is this? It's a piece of rubber. Oh! Oh, well, that's really cool. Yeah, so you finished off your calendar, but... Now you have a replacement. Thank you, people. Uh-huh. Thank you for the commentary. 
Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, there you go. I like the, how reflective it is. Uh, probably. I still have to figure out where I'm gonna put the ash thing. Yeah, you don't have to commit to anything, but. But uh. That that is your stand-in for your future Pikachu gift that's in a box somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. I have a lot of boxes. Okay. Well, you did just move recently. So yeah. I can't say I'm too surprised. I didn't expect you to come wearing a full suit. <laughs> yeah, I just got a hard one, so. mm, I guess that makes sense. No, I dressed up just for you, Vinny. Huh. I'm honored. I feel like I was just here and got very similar things. The person I'm with is different, though. Yeah. And the food that they got is different. Yeah, Jet would not approve, though. Why? Uh, not enough, or too many carbs. Fair enough. So I did a stream, and that stream was of Xenoblade 3, and I did go kind of late, uh, I, I, it went till about 3 o'clock in the morning, um, ruining my sleep schedule once more, but that's okay, it's not okay, I'm not happy about it, but the, um, the store's hours are changing again, so being up late is not gonna be uncommon anymore. Which is unfortunate, but I'm uh, trying to fit in streams wherever I can based on my work schedule, and it just happened to be a good uh, a good day to do it, so I did it, and we got pretty far most of the way th through the the final area of chapter four, and we'll be definitely finishing it off on the next stream which hopefully will be Tuesday. We'll see. But I enjoyed the stream, and I'm looking forward to continuing the game. It's that time again. It's time to open something in the mail. And honestly, this seems a little bit bigger than it needs to be, because this is supposed to be just a PS2 game. But let's see how it goes. So this is what uh, was in that. I'm gonna open this and uh, check my game. Inside the box was more packing. And inside that was even more packing. And then finally we have our DVD case. I think this is actually a PS3 game case. But we have our game. So let's go try it, shall we? I didn't even have my controller plugged in yet, and it started loading up. I got the PS2 logo. And there is the Namco screen. Xenosaga Episode 1. Der Walsermacht, I think, is, is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Don't quote me on that. I do not know German. But I'm very excited to have this, because this means I can play it on actual hardware. I don't dislike playing games on emulator, but if I have the option to play on original hardware, I would much prefer doing that. And, you know, having it physically for the PS2 is the primary way to do that. So I'm, I'm very excited, and I'm, uh, uh, monolith soft. Oh, that was very short. So I'm very excited to play this, especially with how big I am on Xenoblade, as you as you well as you're well aware. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that here soon. I don't have a timeline on that though. I'm considering playing it for the first time on streams, which is why I'm a little reluctant to start just playing it. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So, uh, I want to tell you about a thing that me and a couple of friends are planning on playing. This is Archipelago, or Archipelago, or however you want to pronounce it. And what it is, is a multi-world, multi-game randomizer. And let me show you the list of supported games. 
there's a lot of them. So basically, let's say you have someone playing Hollow Knight, and you have someone playing Ocarina of Time. I can go up to a chest in Ocarina of Time and open it, and let's say normally it's a dungeon map. It could either be something from my game, or it could be something from the other person's game. For instance, in Hollow Knight, you get uh, a spell where you can shoot a blast in front of you, or whatever it's called. It could be that, for example. It could be a Hollonist seal. It could be an upgrade to his nail. It could be Furore's Wind. It could be a grub. He could find a grub and it would be uh, my Kokiri sword. Stuff like that. So basically, it's multiplayer randomizer, but it's everybody's playing their own game. And that's very exciting. Uh, we did a test run, and before I even loaded in, they had already found several items for me. So as soon as Link spawned in his house, I got a couple heart pieces, the Kokiri sword, and um, my slingshot. Which is very funny, because that meant I was able to beeline right to uh, the Deku tree. But it's very, it's, it's very interesting uh, program? Program, we'll call it a program. It's, it's very interesting because it just leads to a lot of fun stuff. With a, with a lot of sequence breaking, potentially, but like, there's a lot of potential here for comedy and fun, so I'm excited to play it. I don't know when exactly we're going to play it, but I do intend on streaming it when we do. And that, honestly, is going to be a, a very fun night. <laughs> but until then, I don't really have much else to say about it, so I guess this is going to stay short. This is an Apple AirTag. The battery on this had died, so I have to replace it. So it's been a while since I took this off. I think the last time that I did was the last time the battery died. So I'm just gonna struggle here a little bit because, like I said, I don't remember exactly how to get the anything apart. Okay, now, after this, it is just, I think, how do I? Mm. There we go. Okay, cool. Got it. Alright, well, this one is garbage. Well, get rid of that. And now I have a pack of batteries. We're just getting a couple paper pot. Well, this sucks. Okay. Now that I have it mostly under control, let's get the, uh... How do I... I need this to, like, seal, close, whatever. Kinda need both hands, that's the problem, and my right thumb is the one where I got the cut. Might just be push it. Or not. Alright, I think that's good. Aha, I got it. Okay. Now let's put it back on my keys. Alright, we got it back on. Hopefully if you do ch 
change the battery in yours, you don't cut yourself like an idiot like me. Yay. So this morning, I went and I did a stream. And I don't know if I'm going to continue to do a stream on Tuesdays, although it seems to be a good day for it, because I tend to be off Tuesdays a lot lately. But, um, I played more Xenoblade, and we made a lot of progress. We finished Chapter 4, started Chapter 5, and w between last stream and this stream, we've seen a lot of my favorite scenes in the game, including the baby scene. Place one finger. in her palm. <gasps> hey, Sana! Look at this! You need to try it too! Oh. Don't ruin this. And look at Tyon just trying You're to right. look over their shoulders. Mimi, it's incredible. L let me have a turn. <laughs> this is incredible, Senna. That baby's hand's gotta be tired from gripping everybody's fingers. Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up! <laughs> but, um, ultimately my, uh, my goal is to beat the game fairly soon. Because I have a challenge going. And I didn't fully explain it because I was still figuring it out oh, during the stream, so I didn't really talk about it during the stream. But there is a challenge going. If chat can collectively raise 10,000 bits before I beat the final boss of Xenoblade 3, then I will do every side quest in the game. Now mind you, I'm a chunk of the way through chapter 5, and there are only two chapters after that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. This game's chapters, if you focus main story, is a lot shorter. So I'm expecting that they'll beat it, but I still figured I would make it fun <laughs> and see, hey, this is your goal. Let's see if you could beat it. But I don't really have much else going on right now. I mean, I'm watching uh, the blogs that Jordan is releasing and I am uploading old stuff to the cloud drive still. So that's going to be the majority of my night because it is Tuesday so I do have to be in at 5am. So I'm going to call it here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>